Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Suprita. I am a second year medical student and in today's video, I am going to be telling you guys about how to study effectively during lockdown. Now, I know there are a lot of students sitting tense at home because you're going to have your exams after the lockdown and you have to study right now, but it's so difficult because you're at home, you don't have a proper schedule and there are so many distractions, right? I know because in the past few days, I have been very lazy and I have not studied much at all. So here are some things that you can do that's going to help you study effectively during this lockdown. Let's go. is plan your day now this is something that i saw on another youtube channel i think the bone teacher but it was really very really helpful for me to you know streamline my study so i want to mention it here plan your day okay now this is very very important and i'm usually a person who hates planning stuff and organizing stuff and i'm the most disorganized person that you will ever meet but i think that during these times the only thing that can help you stay on the path of reading is planning your day but i want you to remember three things while you plan your day number one plan your day well in advance and what i mean by this is that you have to plan what time you want to get up and when you want to read and when you want to take a break tomorrow the previous day before you go to sleep okay because what happens usually is that if you try to make a plan on the next day you will end up wasting a lot of time just thinking and doing nothing this has happened to me a lot of times so i usually get up and i'll be like oh i have to read this i have to read that i have to do this i have to do that i end up wasting so much time just thinking and doing nothing so if you want to plan your day plan it the previous day okay and number two let your plans be very realistic okay now this is also a mistake i do a lot of times and that is making unrealistic plans you can't you know complete 10 chapters in one day that is unrealistic but there have been times where i've written complete you know this subject in one day complete that subject in one day these are all unrealistic plans you know what you can accomplish right so make sure whatever plans you're making are very very realistic and number three be very very specific okay whenever you make a plan you have to be specific now what i mean by this is that if you want to read for example pharmacology the next day or biology or physics whatever you want to read mention which lesson you want to read or which part of the lesson you want to read don't just write read pharmacology it's not going to be useful you have to write what lesson you want to read or what part of that lesson you want to read only then will you be able to read it okay number two study like you're at college or at school now what is really important to study effectively is to create an environment where you can study and what's going to help you in doing that is studying like you're actually at your college or your school okay so what you can do is get up early in the morning bathe have your breakfast and dress up like you're actually going to college and then sit down to read okay don't sit down in your pajamas or your you know whatever night clothes to read because you are going to bring that sleepy mood even into your studies okay you're not going to be fresh even if you want to concentrate you will not be able to concentrate so make sure that at least you wash your face and act like you're actually going to college and then sit down to read number three avoid distractions and by distractions i mean your phone your tablet your pc tv whatever and sometimes even for that matter your parents tell your mom not to give you tea coffee or food while you're reading because when you're reading it's just study time okay or if you're a person who uses you know your phone to look at videos online and learn or reading pdfs from laptop or something like that make sure you switch off all of the notifications from your insta whatsapp or facebook and then start reading okay what i usually do is keep my phone outside the room close the door and then start reading and of course i give some time or a break or something like that where i go and check online social media whatever but make sure that you don't check them while you're reading okay avoid any sort of distractions possible is take breaks 
Now don't keep on reading continuously for hours together without taking a break because you know if you read too much in one stretch you will not be able to retain much. So take breaks and what has really really helped me a lot to relax you know and to rejuvenate myself has been to work out. So usually these days in the evenings I work out a lot and then it's made me very you know strong as well as uh, active it keeps my brain active so take breaks maybe do exercise workout or whatever you want to do don't stress out too much and if you feel you're stressed out just close your eyes take a few deep breaths and enjoy okay don't stress out too much Five, don't avoid difficult topics. Now, if you are preparing for any of your exams, so this is an important uh, advice to you guys is that don't avoid difficult topics. What we usually do when we're reading is that we keep on reading in our comfort zone. We usually keep on revising and reading stuff that we already know or things that we feel is very easy. So, what I want you guys to do is you know take up a difficult topic and try reading it maybe not the whole lesson just take a small part of it and try reading it okay you can complete a lesson which you think is very very difficult in bits and parts and then if possible when you read it for the second time it will be very very easier okay try not to avoid difficult topics while you're studying Number six, watching videos online. Now, this is something that has personally helped me a lot because I'm a person who is, you know, able to remember visual stuff. So when I look at diagrams or when I look at videos online, I'm able to understand more. So right now, since you can't go to classes and learn, it's better that instead of just reading the textbook, if you listen to the lesson from online or watch a video and then read the textbook, reading the textbook will become so much easier. I have experienced this so many times that when I initially first watch a video and then read the textbook, reading the textbook becomes very, very easier. So there might be some days where you don't want to open the textbook and you feel like you don't want to read at all. During such days, just you know, look at some videos and put something into your head so that the next day when you try to read, it will become easier. seven and my last tip for today is that revise whatever you have studied now one of the most effective ways to study is not just about reading but also about retaining what you have studied so when you're making your schedule for every day make sure that you give some time for revising whatever you have studied the previous day okay so revise what you read the previous day and after revising it for the second day revise the same thing again within a week or 15 days okay because whenever you read something a synapse is going to get created in your brain and this synapse is going to remain active only if you keep on triggering it so the best way to retain stuff is to keep on revising it so make sure you read revise read revise and then it becomes so much easier to retain stuff and write well or do well in your exams so i hope all of you are safe and healthy at your homes and i hope you'll do well in your exams all the best